What's up guys, this is The Honest Outlaw here, and today we're going to be talking about something pretty awesome. We're going to be talking about probably the most exciting firearm at SHOT Show 2017, the Hudson H9 9mm pistol. So first, why is this pistol so exciting? Well, for a long time now, people have been just wondering and waiting to see what would happen if a Glock fell in love with a 1911 and as two consenting adults had a baby and I think that baby would look a lot like the Hudson H9. Hudson is a new company and uh, the H9 I believe is its, uh, it's the fourth iteration of the uh, pistol but I believe it's their kind of flagship pistol. It was invented by an army veteran who wrote it down on a napkin or something like that on his way to Alaska he just had the idea what would you do if you had a 1911 style grip frame uh, 1911 ergonomics with a 1911 trigger however it'd be striker fired completely reliable and have a low bore axis then he took it to I think his wife I should know these details but I don't and uh, she is an engineer they took it to more engineers and after a couple of generations of the pistol the H9 was born so, like I said, it's basically a striker-fired, low-bore axis, double-stack 1911. Uh, this pistol is in 9mm, and it's something that I personally have been waiting for for a long time. Uh, it looks very co competition-oriented, and I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, it's supposed to hit the market around the second quarter of 2017, however, they're always late. I mean, we've been looking for guns that were supposed to come out in 2016. 2015, uh, the, the MDR I've been looking forward to. I think it's first uh, hit shot show in like 2013. So you can never tell with these things. It all depends on the uh, manufacturing capabilities of the company. But it is a full stainless steel frame. Uh, full size like this 1911. It's going to be very similar in size to the 1911. However, uh, you can have the option to either have a manual safety or not. And even though the 1911 has relatively low recoil because of its size and ergonomics, especially in 9mm, uh, the bore axis on a 1911 is still a little high. And uh, a lot of people, including myself, like a lower bore axis. They think it aids in muzzle flip. But regardless, the bore axis of the uh, Hudson H9 is considerably lower than even this 1911 that you see here. Very similar to the bore axis of this uh, Glock 19 here. Also, it is going to be a double stack and a striker fired pistol like this Glock 19. However, it will have the straight back, completely awesome trigger of your 1911 series pistols. I think the all steel frame is going to be a really good choice for a pistol like that starting off. I think if it were me, I would have a full size model come out. And hopefully, in, in the future, if the gun is popular and reliable, they'll have a polymer framed, you know, compact or subcompact version for a carry item. The length of this pistol is pretty standard 1911. It is 7.6 inches, height is 5.2, width is 1.24, which makes it kind of hefty. The weight, however, is 34 ounces. I actually wish it was a little bit heavier than that. I know that sounds crazy, but I kind of put my pistols into two categories, defensive or competition, I guess you could say. You know, carry pistols or even defensive pistols like this Glock 17 here, I like them as lightweight as possible while still being shootable. And my competition pistols, I like to be as heavy as possible so they control the recoil and settle down for accuracy. I think a heavy pistol just does a little bit better at the range. My CZ AccuShadow and this 1911 here run right around 42 ounces, so not too bad, 34, I'm still, I still think will handle the recoil relatively well. It has a recoil spring in the dust cover and the thing looks like Robocop's pistol. Uh, the 1911 style trigger is only travels .115 inches, which is really impressive, and it's going to come stock somewhere between 4.75 and 5 pounds, which I think is, you know, a pretty good all-purpose trigger. 
It's going to come with uh, G10 VZ grips, which I think is really impressive. It'll have removable grip panels, which I think, you know, HK, the VP9 kind of has those. But I like that option that you get on some of these older pistols like the, uh, the CZ and the uh, 1911 style pistols. You can change your grips out, A, make them look cooler, B, get the traction that you want, and still not have to make a permanent uh, decision like something like stippling on this Glock here. It's going to come standard with Trigicon HD sights, which I think is really impressive. Uh, those sights themselves are right around 100 somewhere between $100 and $160, depending on where you buy them from, and I really like those sights as well. Uh, as for reliability, I haven't seen any issues with it or haven't heard any issues with it yet, but it's not out yet, of course. So you can never tell reliability until I get one in my hand and I shoot it at the range. Uh, the MSRP on this pistol, I thought originally it was going to be in the area of 2000 at least, but apparently it's coming to market right around $1,147. So somewhere, if it comes out this year, I'm definitely going to be getting one of those pistols for review, and I'll probably put it up against both of these pistols uh, somewhere down along the line. I think 2017 is really going to be the year of the pistol. With the new prime uh, manufacturing groups, Strike A and B, uh, the CZ P10, this pistol, I think there's going to be a lot of new firearms out that are really going to change uh, the idea of pistols. You know, last year and the year before, years previous, pistols like the SIG 320 with the chassis system. I forgot to mention the Hudson H9 also has a chassis system. So instead of the actual frame itself being the firearm, all it has is a little uh, metal insert in there, which has the actual serial number on it. So you don't have to worry. You can buy different grips and frames. Hopefully in the future, they'll have those available. It's so very similar to the SIG 320. But again, I think 2017 is going to be a year of modern pistols where things really start to change a little bit. Uh, you know, I did a video on the CZP-10 earlier where they're basically taking all the best uh, attributes from a lot of the most popular pistols on the market and they're putting it in one. I think this pistol is doing the same thing. It's taking the best attributes from the uh, from the 1911 style pistol, which is going to be, in my opinion, the trigger for sure. Uh, the accuracy department, the uh, ergonomics and the grip, and then they're going to take the best parts of the Glock, which is going to be the, you know, double stack frame, plus the uh, striker fired reliability. So I really like the idea of this pistol. Hopefully it does what I hope it will do, and if it does, it'll probably be at least a contender for uh, my competition pistol. So I'm pretty excited about it. If you have any questions or comments, did I get anything wrong? If you like the video and you want to see more of mine, please like, subscribe, and share the video. Please help out your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. Check you later.